Hey guys, SPAC Daddy Doug here. Um, today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about units specifically. And the reason I'm gonna be talking about units is because I'm doing a series. I'm going through every single SPAC stock that is upcoming and going to talk about how the units are gonna be breaking apart. Um, and for those, there's a lot of people that don't understand units who might be new to trading SPACs or you might have just been trading commons and warrants for well-known SPACs in the past, but there is a lot of value to be trading into SPACs that just are starting off in the unit phase. So I'm just gonna familiar you guys with some information about the units and how they can be adding value. So every single SPAC stock starts off as a unit. Uh, there's some government requirements, I believe with the SEC, that usually requires that SPAC stocks wait at least 52 days before they break apart into commons and warrants. Um, and when that happens, uh, usually there's three, there's three things that might happen. So after the 52 days occur, and that's the first day after trading, so warrants, uh, units usually start trading at $10. Um, and then as soon as day 52 comes, they split apart. So three things happen, or two things happen. Either you have the, or either the, the stock splits and you have only commons and warrants, and your brokerage will be forced to split those for you. Or the second thing happens is warrants start trading, commons start trading, and units still continue to trade. And that usually occurs in most uh, cases. Um, in that type of case, the unit price should mimic the combination between the warrant price plus the common price. Um, so that will give you the unit price. Now, um, typically there are arbitrage opportunities, meaning that units might be trading less or more than what those commons and those uh, warrants are trading for. So what you wanna do in those types of cases, you can technically, you could buy the units if they're trading for less, call up your brokerage and have them split it apart for you and, and make money. I know that there's a few people out there currently using this as their trading strategy. I think JMac, who's another YouTuber, um, briefly saw his couple of his videos where he's saying he's doing that and there are opportunities to do that. The The issue with that is your broker, depending on your brokerage, it does take a few days for them to do the breakage and everything like that. Um, typically, the other strategy you could use for units is you could just use it to get onto the base ground floor. You find a new SPAC coming out with a great management team, you just hold on to those units. Um, like I said, they should technically follow the price of the warrants and the um, and the common shares. And you know what? If you don't want to break them apart, you could do something a lot easier. What you could do is just sell the units if they're trading for the same price. And let's just say you want to keep flipping them. Uh, you could just take the sell them and then buy the warrants that you would have received anyway. Um, there is this trading strategy because as stocks break, historically, the price of the units increase. Um, being that people have the ability to buy the common shares and the warrants as the volume increases the price, especially for ones with really good management teams that people want to get into. Um, so I, it is a trading strategy. What I, my trading strategy, um, my one I do, it's just not my big trading strategy, but what I have been doing is I buy pre-unit SPAC stocks that I like to manage with teams. And after the split, I either get them split or, or I sell them and then just have the warrants. Uh, typically, the warrants break and then the common shares will go up in price. I'll hold on to the warrants for the long term and then I'll sell my common shares and then reinvest into another pre-unit split and just repeat the cycle over. It's a good trading strategy, but I'm making this video, like I said in the beginning, because I am doing um, a series, I'm on already episode two, where each week I go through all the SPAC stocks that are splitting for the week, ones that you can get into. And what's really interesting when I'm doing this series, I'm learning about a lot of SPACs that I probably would have never known about, invest into it. Uh, it does take me a long time to make these videos in the sense um, that it, I have to you know, do my due diligence on companies that nobody knows about. And I have found a couple of SPACs that I, like, I am like over the moon for, and I think they're gonna be great you know, going down to the future. And with that, you know, I get into them earlier. Uh, you, know, you guys get into earlier watching the video. Um, but you know, that's, what I, that's what I like about that. Um, you know, it's a series I'm starting. There's 100 plus SPAC stocks to go through. Uh, so there's no, there's no shortage of material. Uh, what I, um, you know, like I said, it does take me some time, so please like and subscribe to these videos. It just shows to me, hey, you guys are interested into this, should I keep going? Because uh, these videos do take me a few hours just to do a lot of research on these companies. But, um, you know, like I said, any unit questions, please feel free to ask them. Um, and another tip on units I, I have been reading, so depending on your brokerage, some of them are expensive to break apart, some of them are free, some of them don't do it at all. Um, I know Robinhood does, it, Robinhood's not really a good um, 
platform to have if you're trading specs at all. Um, F- Fidelity does it for free. They'll do the breakage for free. I believe E-Trade and Ameritrade will do it. For, will charge you thirty-eight dollars to do it. But I've heard that you can. T- you know, get a waiver for, for it sometimes. Um, and other brokerages, I don't know, I'm not too familiar with, but they might do it for free. But check it out. Um, definitely a great opportunity to make good money. Um, from what I've seen and uh, since I started doing this, uh, the, the ups have been about 5 to 20%, maybe more. But that's, that's because we've been in an up market. But until then, I'll talk to you.